a few things that we need to do just to get the upgrade to, to the new code safety wise but overall this dock's in pretty decent shape i mean it's repairable instead of a rewire most of them i come to would be you show up and it's like hey rip it all out let's go new because it's so bad um, but th this is definitely uh, in repairable condition it's just the, my biggest concern is this pump here it's not on a the proper breaker uh, to where if if something went bad on the pump or uh, you know the pump shorted out against the frame uh, it would trip this breaker to help ensure life safety so whereas before um, it could have potentially caused caused current to go on the dock frame so uh, that's what a ground fault breaker is designed for personal safety so it will trip at 10 milliampers, which is 10 thousandths of an amp of current going to ground. So it, it, uh, it's designed to, to protect people. Uh, extremely common uh, issues in the area. Most docks have, have a lot of code violations. Um, I would say, I was telling uh, Don here on the way, I would say probably 80 to 90 percent of docks have at least one code violation. Um, if not several so I would say from my experience being in other uh, states counties cities um, um, I would say just the, the quantity of docks on one lake uh, is, is detrimental to the safety because there's so many docks so many people that that aren't here all the time and and have you know all kinds of people doing work that with just out without enough enforcement to actually enforce the code. Um, if the plugs, if the ground fault protection for the outlets are working properly, this can be picked up at any pretty much uh, Home Depot, any, any place like that, where you can just pick up a tester, go over to an outlet. Um, you want to see that the outlet is wired properly, which would be the two outside lights, again, wiring diagram here and pressing this black button here will trip the breaker.